Welcome to The Honest Channel. I'm Claire Johnston, a journalist on a mission to discover how to age well and look and feel better for longer. And boy, do I have something interesting to share with you today. Because around a month ago, a regular viewer of mine, her name is Lee Medeiros, and she's a 55-year-old medical esthetician with the Pink House Clinic in Canada. And she got in touch with me to say she would tried a neck massage technique that she'd seen on YouTube, which promised to tackle the dreaded turkey neck, where our skin and in some cases our muscles start to weaken and we get that sagging around our neck and jawline. So Lee had noticed a video posted on the iCell Massage Therapist channel and I'll link to it in the description below. The video has gone viral with over 1.5 million views and in it the massage therapist shows viewers a simple technique involving buffing your skin with a rolled up towel that's first soaked in salted water and she claimed doing this would help get rid of turkey neck and and that you'd see results within two weeks of trying it. So had it not been for Lee, I wouldn't have taken this advice very seriously. But she told me this simple technique has indeed made a dramatic difference to her neck. And she sent me the before and after pictures to prove it. So now we're going to hear firsthand from Lee about this intriguing technique, its potential effects, and we'll have a look at safety too. First off, I'm going to let Lee herself explain how she felt about her neck before trying this massage technique. And when I spoke to her on Zoom, I also met her lovely daughter who was there with her and who also works at the Pink House. And here's what Lee had to say. Action. I've always been very happy with my face, right? In terms mm -hmm. Beautiful of face. Devices. Thank you. And just, you know, being able to feel firm and, and, you know, look like I feel, but I started to see it happened at exactly age 52. I'll be honest with you. So I've been watching this for a few years now where, and it sounds like a cliche. It sounds like it's almost overnight, but for me, it was literally overnight that I got up and said, Oh my goodness, what is happening with my neck? Mm -hmm. And I started to just feel this real laxity um, and a crepiness as well mm -hmm. that I couldn't quite correct. So I, through everything at it, but the kitchen sink. What kind of things did you try? So I tried a number, of course I went to skincare first, like literally I have a graveyard of neck creams that are supposed to be yeah. super performers. I have, a, I try everything, you know? Okay. So I tried all of that. Um, I'm a huge retinoid, uh, you know, retinol user for the face. I found my neck could not tolerate that. Mm -hmm. um, that was difficult. That was such a challenge because I knew, you know, instinctively that if I were to able to get the neck to acclimate to that, that I couldn't see a change, but I just couldn't tolerate it. So it was very frustrating. So I tried devices. I've tried microcurrent. Uh, I tried RF microneedling. I did do a couple of those procedures as well. And, um, and because we do have a small clinic, I have access to an RF device. So I try that consistently. And what I found is that all that might have helped with the texture. So I definitely can say I've seen an improved texture and the crepiness has absolutely been improved. But that constant lax laxity and lack of firmness, I felt it was just deeper, like at the muscular level that I just could yeah. not get to, right? Short of mm -hmm. surgery, really want to go there and consider that. But I have thought about it. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, we all have. <laughs> you know, whatever you think is usually never on the table, you know, as you creep up in age and when you have these challenges, you start to think about, okay, maybe, but not there yet. I'm a medical esthetician and I'm always looking for ways to rejuvenate people's skin. And I do have to, sort of a holistic approach that's very big for me uh, for different reasons. I follow a lot on functional medicine because I had a thyroid autoimmune condition called Hashimoto. So I kind of self-heal through a lot of learning. And I absolutely feel that anything happening in the gut internally is going to be reflective externally on the skin. It's like a hundred percent. So Anytime I see women complain about things, I tend to go, okay, what are you eating? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. um, and then I try to look at more natural ways. Huge, huge fan of sculpting massage. I do that myself a lot to my clients. I just feel like I literally can transform their skin after a half an hour of massaging from a sculpting perspective, getting oxygenating the skin and the blood flow. Um, just, I literally see their muscles kind of almost reset themselves. They just look so much more refreshed and their skin their, just looks toned. And I just started to really look into massage and on the face and I've done a lot of training around that. And I do believe it actually strengthens the skin, which is something we all want, um, you know, and it does stimulate collagen and 
And maybe that's a debate. You know, I don't want to say that that's exactly what it does. But, you know, a lot of the experts will suggest that, you know, don't underestimate the power of massaging and moving the skin. I'm sure like you, I look for, there's wonderful experts out there. Uh, you know, love, love YouTube. I kind of live on it. That's how I found you as well. And so I I ran across this lady, Eisel, I think I'm going to butcher her name, but she's a massage therapist. And I just started to see her following and her techniques, and it just made a lot of sense. And this particular video just really got to me because it was a little bit more aggressive, the technique that mm. she was demonstrating about how to tone the neck. The story she was saying really resonated with me on her opening comments and that all of a sudden her neck laxity and she just didn't feel right. Um, and then I read through the comments as well, which I think we often do. And it was like quite compelling that a lot of people were saying, I try this, it's like magic, it's amazing. I'm like, you know, what do I have to lose? I love massaging my face. I'm so huge. I do gua sha every day. And I did do gua sha on the neck or whatnot. And I find it helps to some degree, but I like, I wanted something a little bit more aggressive. Can I ask what that is? A, gu a gua sha, did you say? So the gua sha is that the tool you take and you could actually like pull the muscles. It's more about moving fluid, stagnant okay. fluid lymphatic drainage so i find you get more sculpting from it but it's oxygenation of the blood mm -hmm. and actually you know it just and it gives you such a beautiful flush and i just find it just prepares the skin mm -hmm. so when you put on you know um any of your oh my god oh, thank you <laughs> the little washer that we have your lovely and, assistant my lovely <laughs> assistant and just so you know how you know uh, how strongly I feel about massage and gua sha of the face or whatnot. In one of our open house events at our clinic, this is what we gave away to our clients because I just want to encourage everyone to, to do this, to get that movement in the face because it just brings such a radiance and, 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 and really great benefits to the skin and the health of the skin. Um, so I try this. I tried this technique after watching her video. It just seemed so simple, right? Yeah. That I just wasn't expecting a lot, but there was something also just intuitive about the, the way that she hit the skin and the fascia, I felt like it was going deep. And I thought, you know, might this might activate and awaken my muscles. I just kind of really went all in with a positive attitude. And, and I will tell you, Claire, and I know it sounds like a commercial, but quite honestly, nothing has impressed me the way this, and it was almost immediate that mm -hmm. you can talk to any of my girlfriends. I literally walked into the clinic I said, oh, and my daughter, she was the first one I went to go, do you see the difference in my neck? I'm, I'm like, this is amazing. It literally felt like it acted. After that one time, would you say? After that first time? Two times. I would say twice to be fair. The first and time. You were I doing it daily, daily, were you? I, absolutely. Yes. Okay. I was doing it daily for up to three minutes. Up to three, I literally put on my iPhone with my counter and went at it. You know, the whole procedure, the salt water, taking a towel, making sure I, you know, soak it in there, rolling it up almost like a turnkey. And again, you can decide on the pressure. And so I did it lightly initially. And I think by the second day, I decided to kind of go a little bit more aggressive with it. I have to tell you that I just, I noticed an instant tightening of my neck. Like I found that the, the, the shape of it sort of changed for me. I actually also felt like the muscle contraction and the tightness after I finished doing it. So almost felt like I got a workout. And yeah. that's why I knew something's happening there. It's activating something. And I love the results visually. It was there. So it to me, that was better than any cream or any device that I have ever tried in terms of instantaneous results, right? Yeah. And I mean, well, the wonderful thing about this is you're not selling anything. If you were selling towels, maybe, but I mean, there's, <laughs> there's nothing to sell here. It's just literally your experience. Um, how, when you say you were going hard at it, you know, because th this, is, this is why I was sort of weighing up and why I wanted to get Dr. Emmeline involved as well, because I don't want anybody hurting themselves in the process of doing this. So when you say you were going quite hard at it, so you're getting flushing, um, how, were you actually feeling any, um, any soreness when you were doing it or how, how hard would you say you went? No, it just felt like very light slapping. Like I did feel right, my okay. muscles for sure, but no, I wasn't going hard to a point where it was hurting. I mean, yeah. I didn't feel any bruising, nothing like that. Um, and I like the technique she showed in the video because at first I kind of had the towel like lax, just folded. And then I did it more like a turnkey to kind of get a, bit, a little bit more of a pumping motion to the skin. Yeah, Absolutely not hurting. I, I have a thyroid issue. So as you know, it makes it very challenging even with devices to go near that area. Mm -hmm. So I just keep that under my chin. I do it in each side of my jaw and just make sure I do so a full three. Avoiding that all important middle section here. I, I stay away from this completely. You know, but right here, yeah, on the side of the jaw, 
on each side and you get a great arm workout as well. <laughs> like I tell you, it's challenging because it's where my arms are starting to hurt. I'm like, oh, this is interesting. But uh, but yeah, I mean, to your point, and, and this is like something that, of course, you can do at your own time. It's 100% free. Uh, it takes very little effort. And I I have to be honest with you, I've probably missed a day in the last uh, month or so. Like I've, I try right. to do this because it, it's just, it's so quick. It's part of my routine in the morning. If I'm getting this kind of result, and it's not costing me anything. And I could take three minutes to do this. I feel like it's a form of just exercising my neck as well as, you know, exercising my body and everything else that I do. So it's now part of my regime. And yeah, I wanted to spread the word. And I, I love that we're talking about it and that yeah. if you can get this out, like, I think women should try this if they're as frustrated as, you know, I certainly am with my neck. Yeah, uh, I think I can understand the mechanism um, because I mean, it is, it is massage. It's also a little bit like the sonic vibration devices that I've looked at. And I always feel I have a kind of, um, it's a, it's a microcurrent roller, but I often, when I use that roller, go in a little harder and get the, until I've got pinkness here and I, I can feel it working the muscles. And I thought, I think that is a very similar mechanism that I find quite effective for jowls. But the salt water intrigued me. I went searching for that as well because I yeah. thought, how essential is that in the entire process? Because she makes a point you could use any salt, but she wants you to use salt with the yeah. water. So I don't know if that somehow makes it more hygienic, uh, you know, I, because of the anti, you know, uh, bacterial yeah. aspects of it, more almost like an antiseptic. I don't know, but she says sea salt. And of course, we have to um, lubricate a nice nourishing uh, neck cream is what I use um, firstly. And then soak the towel within the salt water and then go yeah. ahead. And then it's like, I just feel my muscles are activated and yeah. I, I feel literally like my neck is kind of toned and shrank a bit where I was having some just excess sort of fat around the middle and mm -hmm. just not as defined. And so for me, whatever that is, that activation, it it's helping my muscles respond in a nice way where I'm getting some toning and that's yeah. magical. Me. So yeah. I'm really happy with that. I couldn't do it any other way, to be honest. And I have tried a number of things. So so you do this daily now. You've not gone on to a kind of maintenance phase where you do it once a week or? I try to, no, I try to, like I have skipped a day or, or two here and there, but honestly, I try, I'm I'm averaging a good five to six days a week. I just love it. And I, it just doesn't take me any time and I just feel better and I'm more confident after I do it. Like I see a visible change throughout the day if I, when I do it. So yeah. I just I don't want to, but to your point, Claire, I mean, it's not something that I think once I get into this and I've already been doing it just a little over a month, I'm, uh, I know that I probably can pull back and maybe do three, four times a week, but it's for a very little effort and to get that kind of stimulation and the result that I get, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Okay. And, um, just for that extra layer of detail, cause I'm always asked lots of questions with every video, um, what do you use? Do you use a washcloth or do you use a tea towel or um, what, what a tea towel, towel do you actually use? Favorite. I find a tea towel because it's a little bit lighter weight than even some of those smaller towels, you know, the, the face towels. Yeah. 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 I, the lighter weight, the better because the water already brings some weight to the towel once you mm -hmm. soak it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I find that I can move. The movement is a lot more uh, seamless that way. So that's what I use. Perfect. Well, um, thank you so much for sharing this with us. Um, I'll be, we'll be interested to hear what Dr. Emmeline has to say about it and um, see if any viewers have had a similar experience trying this out because it was a, it went viral. Well, I think it's got about 1.5 million views or something. So it's definitely a lot of people have, have latched onto it, which is it's why it's so useful to get a kind of independent, I tried this and it actually worked for me. Yes. And, and I mean, we don't know each other, Claire, but I mean, and my daughter will tell you, I am like the least gimmicky person. I'm a very, you know, uh, I'm pragmatic almost about certain things, you know what I mean? Yeah. But this to me, it's just, again, common sense because it's a form of exercising. And yeah, as long as the doctor, if, if they're know that that's not going to harm you, I, yeah. I, I don't know why this wouldn't be a great practice to incorporate in, you know, a skincare routine. I want to say a huge thanks to Lee for putting herself out there and sharing her experience with us because she gains nothing from it. She just wanted others who were also looking for something they could do to improve sagging skin on the neck to know about how this technique has helped her. And what struck me about this method is that it actually incorporates quite a few of the elements that you find in skin tightening devices and some facial treatments. So in the action of buffing your skin, 
you're getting the blood flowing and oxygen going to it, which supports cell productivity, including collagen formation. There's a massaging effect as well on the muscles, and I wonder if the salt water helps with exfoliation, and that by using a wet towel, there's a kind of microdermabrasion effect on the skin, which helps smooth it as well, because Lee talked about that roughness in the texture of her skin before, and how that changed after trying this method. But is it a good idea to be slapping our necks like this? Well, in the original video itself, the massage therapist advises anyone with a thyroid condition to seek medical advice beforehand, which I think would be a given. I would almost certainly avoid the throat area, and as Lee said, stick to the sides and just under your chin. And I'd warn against going too hard as well, so if you've decided to try this, it shouldn't be painful or uncomfortable. Too much impact on the skin, it's not a good idea. So you're looking to increase blood flow and cause the skin to flush, but you shouldn't see marking or bruising after the flushing subsides. So we don't wanna do any damage. And here's what one of my favorite medical aesthetic specialists had to say about this technique. The award-winning Dr. Emmeline Ashley, who recently moved from the UK to the Cayman Islands. Dr. Emmeline says she doesn't have safety concerns when reasonable precautions are taken, but noted there's only anecdotal evidence for this method, which does appear positive. She noted the massage therapist suggests applying a rich moisturizer to the neck before the treatment and flagged that a lot of people neglect to use skincare on their necks. So the regular use of good moisturizer in itself could make a difference to skin quality. She added that this technique encourages elongation of the neck, which could help with tech neck, where frequently looking down at phones and devices contributes to the appearance of lines horizontally around the neck and the loss of elasticity. That's it from me today on what has been a very intriguing testimonial from Lee. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this technique. Have you tried it? Would you try it? Let us know in the comments. And if you've undergone a transformation in later life, whether it's your health and fitness or you've discovered a skincare technique or product that works wonders for you and you'd like to share it with others, do reach out and let me know. You can find and message me on Instagram at Honest Claire. Don't forget to check out my website, honest.scot, for more advice and information around aging well. And if you haven't already, then by liking this video and subscribing to the channel, you help it grow and reach more people. For now, thank you for watching and listening, and I'll see you next time.